Hello. Hello, Mr. Cartwright. Afternoon. So let's get straight to it. The Twats are out the playoffs. How do you feel? It's a disappointing end to the season again. We've made the playoffs. I think that's a positive aspect to the campaign. Um, you know, we've moved forward this season, last season we didn't make the playoffs. Another six and seven record. It's yeah, it was just a, a disappointing end to the season. I think we made mistakes in this playoff game, swapping out the charges of the Vikings, banking on Cam Newton having a poor game, throwing a few interceptions, didn't turn out that way. He had one of his better games. And ultimately we've been beaten by the Kings Kings. Could have won the game if you'd started Tyler Lockett. We could have, but you know, Tyler Lockett has been in and out this season. He it was never one of our main guys. But we, you know, we could have played him instead of Robbie Anderson, for example, who I believe didn't even score a point, or maybe scored one point, two points, and it's just not good enough delivery from our wide receivers and the Jets. You can't rely on them for anything. Do you have a quarterback in the future in Jimmy Garoppolo? I think we do. I think going forward, this guy is a guy I would like next season. I think he's going to be keenly contested for. I think a lot of people are going to. Fancy the chances with this guy. Um, but yeah, definitely a better option than James Winston, who has been a massive disappointment. And how do you feel about Leonard Fournette's season? Well, if Leonard Fournette had kept up his form throughout the season, for the full campaign, you know, churning them hard yards week in, week out, we wouldn't have been in this situation. We would have potentially even have been uh, a side you would have been talking about having the, that bye last week. Because um, I really thought we were going to push the Flying Baileys throughout the campaign when... You know, Len Fournette was pulling, the, pulling up the numbers. We were winning, and we were winning well. And a disappointment this season in Mike Evans? Again, that Tampa Bay Buccaneers organisation has let the twats down. Um, you know, I just think they need to hand their heads in shame. I think for themselves, they've had a poor season. But for a guy who's relied their fantasy season on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I can just say a massive stuff for you, really. And how do you justify being the lowest scoring team in the league yet still making the playoffs? I think we've been very fortunate in our division this season. I think last season we were unfortunate and you know we were in a placement where we would have made the playoffs if we'd been in a different division. And this year we've been fortunate that we've made the playoffs on a losing record and possibly rightly so, we've been eliminated at the first hurdle. If it's on the clock, do you think they'll be in the playoffs next year? Who knows, if there's a good draft, yes. But I think... If I can make the right decisions, after there's been potential in there. There was potential through that midsection of the season that you know they went five and two of the twats and looked a decent side, and then just fell off the cliff. As soon as really Leonard Fournette lost his form, if we have a guy like him again next season, you know he'll be a guy potentially, possibly first round selection. I think he'll be up for that. Um, and the twats will be in the market for a top side next season. And finally, who, who are your tips for the semi-finals and the Super Bowl in this season's playoffs? I'm going to go division side. I'm hoping for the Flying Baileys to get it done, for, to fly the Earth Division flag into the Super Bowl. I just hope it's not a, a pepperoni pizzas, King King Super Bowl again, because you know, it's getting a bit of a, a dry topic, really. That's all for now. Thank you very much.